morning, evening folks, wherever you're at. Uh, we're, today we're going to go over clutch failures. Uh, if you have an issue with your clutch that has failed within the first uh, 30 minutes of operation, uh, your clutch will most likely look something like this. It'll have a rub spot on one side. It'll normally be on the tension side of your belt, so this will be on the wrapped side of where your belt is, and your belt will come down like this. And that's because it's pulling your actual clutch down onto the magnet. Um, if it's failed within the first eight minutes or, or 30 minutes, it's, it's most likely due to an installation uh, error. So we're going to show you how to remove a clutch and reinstall the clutch. So, first thing we're going to do here, we got our test stand. Uh, we're going to remove this belt on here. Alright folks, we're going to show you how to remove your clutch. You're going to want to use a 5 8 standard bolt. And you're going to want to pop it. And that's about all it's going to take to get your clutch off. And then we're going to remove our magnet. Okay folks, now before we're going to reinstall anything on this pump, you're going to want to clean out your your threads in the, in the end of your shaft. The reason being is the first time you run this bolt in, it has Loctite on there and it will leave a bunch of crud in there. And if you don't clean it out, it won't suck it up to where you need it. Grab the shaft. <coughs> and you can see there's some crud that comes out of there. You might want to run it in a time or two just to make sure you got it all. As you can tell, this is not the easiest job, but it's a must. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and reinstall our magnet. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and install our clutch and you want to make sure that your keyway is lined up and it should just go on there right as soon as you get her lined up. Shouldn't take any force, just make sure it's seated all the way up against there. And then you reinstall your center bolt. If you have a ratchet, an air ratchet, uh, you want to go ahead and suck that down with an air ratchet. That's perfectly fine. Anything to make sure that you got it good and seated up tight. Okay, so after you get your clutch installed on there, everything's tightened up tight. Make sure that you free, you spin your your clutch. Make sure it spins freely. 
and it's not dragging. And we make sure you listen that it's not rubbing on anything and it spins freely. Um, we'll go ahead and reinstall our belt. That's it.